The ancient city of Taposiris Magna is hidden on the northern coast of Egypt. These days it has very little of its former glory, but what lies beneath it may hold the secret to uncovering a famous mystery, that of Cleopatra, the most memorable Egyptian queen in history. The recently discovered tunnel is also known as a geometric miracle for its time. Excavations have uncovered a 43-foot-long structure below the ground, which is partially submerged in water. Its shape and construction technique are similar to that of the Eupolinos Tunnel, another amazing ancient discovery. This one is located in Greece and was built by excavating simultaneously from two points, aiming to have them meet in the middle. The use of math and geometry to make this construction was astonishingly precise for those days, more so since it was built near a mountain. Archaeologists that have been working on the Taposiris Magna site since 2004 believe this tunnel may lead to the lost tomb of Cleopatra. The clues they found so far seem to back up this theory. For starters, the city and its temple were built by one of Cleopatra's ancestors, Ptolemy II. All the architecture seems to indicate it was dedicated to the ancient spirit Osiris and his queen Isis. Throughout her reign, Cleopatra did try to associate herself with Isis, so it may be no surprise she chose this location as her final resting place. Scientists have yet to pinpoint Cleopatra's tomb, but research continues with the help of modern technology. To study this location better, Archaeologists have even used a special device called ground-penetrating radar. This tool allows us to analyze what lies beneath the ground without being intrusive. Since this tunnel is so old, research needs to be done very delicately. Seeing pictures of what's underground before you start digging is incredibly useful and has been done here since 2011. Finally discovering Cleopatra's tomb may help us piece together her story especially what might have happened during the last portion of her life, which is still surrounded by mystery. We still don't know the exact cause of her passing. Some believe she may have let herself be bitten by a poisonous Egyptian cobra. Others have suggested that she was well accustomed to toxic substances, even hiding some in her hairbrush in case she ever needed it. But that's not to say she chose to use it on herself. We do have a lot of other interesting information on Cleopatra that's equally as impressive. Like the fact that she had a stylist. Most of the images you've seen depicting this famous queen show her wearing black eyeliner. This look was put together by Ayras, a woman known to have been her personal beautician. She traced the long line from her eyes to her temples, a makeup technique still used today to enhance the eyes. Ayras was an important figure throughout Cleopatra's life, known also as her confidant and close friend. There are even theories that suggest Ayras was there by her side when she passed away. Despite her well-thought-out looks, Cleopatra wasn't as pretty as she's described. Or at least, that's what recent research has pointed out. Sure, if we look at movies and modern imagery, she's depicted as this incredibly beautiful woman with symmetrical and delicate features. However, if we look at coins showcasing her image from back in the day, her looks are rather average. Her image on the coins might have been adjusted too to make the queen look stronger in the eyes of her people. So there is no trusted source available to confirm her image, but her description in most pieces of ancient literature speaks of her other qualities, like her voice and personality, not of her beauty. Cleopatra might have been the most famous Egyptian queen to this day, but she wasn't the first choice. She did have an older sister, Berenice, that was initially supposed to take the throne. Berenice passed away before she could do that, so Cleopatra took on the role and began investing in her education. She traveled throughout the country quite frequently, so she could become accustomed to her people and their needs. She was only 18 when the responsibilities were passed down to her, and immediately gained popularity because of her intelligence and education. Her taste in literature was quite good too. She was known to be a fan of Homer, the famed Greek philosopher and poet. Cleopatra loved to write as much as she loved to read. 
There are even claims that she wrote a book on medicine and cosmetics. But we have no evidence to this day that such work ever existed. Part of being a great leader back then meant you had to speak multiple languages. Cleopatra clearly understood that, and that's why she's rumored to have known many languages to varying degrees. Some archaeologists suggested she spoke Greek, Egyptian, and Ethiopian, as well as many Arabic dialects. She might have even spoken Latin, but there's little evidence to support this claim. She might not have had angelic looks, but Cleopatra was really careful with the way she looked, even with her diet. She was known to have enjoyed simple meals, including a variety of fish. Since she lived close to the Mediterranean Sea, it's really no surprise. As a treat, she liked to eat stuffed pigeons, which she also served to her guests. Other dishes on the menu included vegetables and fava bean soup. Fruits and nuts weren't missing from her diet either, and she was also a big fan of honey. Recently, a team of experts has even tried to recreate her famous perfume. Think of it like the ancient equivalent of Chanel No. 5. Cleopatra was known to be a fan of luxurious scents, which she believed could even influence how people treated her when they met. The basis of this scent is myrrh, a resin gathered from a local tree. Other ingredients added to the mixture were also found back in the day, like cardamom, olive oil, and cinnamon. The results may not be quite as delicate as the perfumes we know and use today. Its consistency was way thicker, and the scent lasted way longer. When she was at the height of her power, Cleopatra might have been the richest person in the world. Back in the day, she ruled over a territory that stretched across the Mediterranean, from modern-day Libya in the west through Egypt to Syria in the east. This is the largest territory ever ruled over by a woman. In today's currency, her worth might have been somewhere around $95 billion. The calendars we use today may have been introduced by Cleopatra herself. She presented the idea of leap years and leap days to Caesar, the Roman emperor she was known to have been close with. Taking her advice, Caesar made these adjustments part of the official Roman calendar. The ancient Egyptians already knew the year was longer than precisely 365 days. They discovered this by studying the brightest star in the sky, called Sirius, and concluded that a year is actually 365 and one quarter days long. It was Elizabeth Taylor that famously introduced Cleopatra to pop culture when she played her in the 1963 film bearing the same name. Up until that point, it was the most expensive film ever made. It was originally supposed to cost somewhere around $2 million, but ended up costing a mind-boggling $44 million. That's mostly because of script and production issues. To make this iconic movie, producers created 79 sets from scratch, as well as over 26,000 costumes for the cast. Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra costumes alone cost somewhere around $200,000. Thankfully for the producers, the movie made headlines and was well received by critics, making it a box office success. A lot of people associate Cleopatra with another famous Egyptian ruler, King Tutankhamun, nicknamed King Tut. Surprisingly, apart from both of them being Egyptian pharaohs, they have nothing else in common. For starters, King Tut lived around 1300 years before Cleopatra did and there is also no connection regarding their ancestry. Cleopatra had Macedonian Greek roots, while King Tut was a native Egyptian. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.